um, I don't know. Uh, just felt like making a video because, as usual, I'm bored with nothing else to do. Um, and besides, uh, I don't know, I've been feeling kind of weird. So, yeah, um, just a little bit of a. I just woke up two hours ago, but I've been lying in bed all day because I'm a lazy bitch. Um, I didn't go to work today because I feel kind of sick. So, yeah, screw that. And besides, tomorrow is like my last day anyway, I think. Because, like, the house that I'm painting is almost completely finished to me. Um, on a second. Okay, but, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, <coughs> obviously nothing important to begin with, but, I've, well, let me open this first. I've been, like, having these nightmares, uh, lately, about things that have happened to me in the past, um, <coughs> I mean, I, I guess I don't mind talking about it, um, uh, what harm can it do, um, I was, you know, I don't know if I really should talk about this or not, now that I think about it. Um, it seemed like a good idea before I actually started making the video. Um, in case anyone's wondering. But, uh, Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna talk about it, because it's better to talk about things than keep them in, and I've already told a few people, so why not tell the world? Um, I was a victim of sexual abuse, um, for many years, and I, I know that people out there are going to be like, oh, that's retarded, you're a guy, how do you get raped, <laughs> but no, um, I've always been, you know, like, committed to abstinence, and I'm, I never wanted to have sex before marriage, or before I was sure that it was the right person, and we were completely connected and inseparable, um, and furthermore, 
Yeah, I'm actually like completely asexual. I don't. Well, I'm demisexual. I, I don't derive sexual attraction to anything or anyone unless I have a deep emotional connection with them. <laughs> and that, like, to the level that it takes, uh, takes years for me to get that feeling. Um, but, you know, unfortunately we live in a world where people aren't patient or understanding. Um, uh, so, you know, after getting fed up with me enough, I guess, um, I was, like I said, raped, um, multiple times. It happened for, like, two consecutive years, at least once or twice every week, um, <laughs> And I didn't fight it because I'm the kind of person who wants to make everyone happy regardless of how I feel. Um, which I know is stupid and it's never done anything good. But, you know, that's just who I am and I can't change that. But, um, I don't know. That's what I've been having dreams about. Well, nightmares about lately. Um, it's been like I've, re I've been reliving those moments in my dreams for the past week or two weeks. And I've tried talking to people about it. And sorry, I had the hiccups. Um, People just, they don't understand, I mean, I can't blame them, because we live in a world that practically worships sex, and from a very early age, you're pretty much taught, you know, oh, you have to love sex, or you're abnormal, and you're weird, and all this other crap. <laughs> and from an evolutionary standpoint, I mean, sex is all we exist for, I mean, we exist to multiply and survive and that's it so I mean I understand why no one understands where I'm coming from and on the other hand I don't understand what it would be like to enjoy sex or sexual related activities so or even thoughts of sex or even even masturbation I don't you know I can't, cannot fathom enjoying that. Um, <coughs> but, I don't know, I'm just pretty much parenting, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't really have anybody to talk to about this that understands. Um, so that kind of makes it worse. Um, <coughs> I mean, I, like, Justin does understand, because we feel the same way about practically everything, but that's really just like talking to myself, since we're so much alike, I mean, we're practically mentally and emotionally identical. So, yeah, that's not really... I mean, it's good that I'm not alone, but it doesn't really help like I want it to. Or like you'd imagine that it should. But, um... Oh, um, 
my girlfriend, uh, she wants to have sex, and, you know, I told her, I was, I was like, well, that's fine with me, you know, you can have sex with anyone you want to, um, and I don't mind, I'm not going to consider it cheating, I'm not going to be worried about it at all, I mean, I understand that normal people have normal urges, and, you know, I don't have anything against that, and then she was like, no, I'd rather suffer than cheat on you, and, I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be cheating on me, you know, I'm giving you the go-ahead, but, I don't know, I just feel like I, like I can't provide something that, sorry, my monitor went out for a second, but I feel like I can't provide something that she wants, and something that she enjoys, and I feel like a terrible boyfriend because of that. And I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I can understand why she doesn't understand. It's just... I don't know. I wish I could be not this way. I don't know. I guess that's really all there is to it. Uh, I don't, for the record, I don't have anything at all against anyone who's ever abused me in any way, or ever treated me bad, um, you know, in the words of Buddha, and I'm just going to paraphrase because I forgot the exact phrasing, but in the words of Buddha, a grudge is like holding on to hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. Only you get hurt. So. I refuse to hold a grudge against anyone. Um. But I refuse to think negatively about anyone. Um. Or anything, for that matter. But. <coughs> I don't know. I've been searching. All over the internet for someone else who feels the way I do and I just I don't know, I can't really find anything that's helpful at all but I guess it doesn't matter, I mean I'm not depressed about this, I'm not sad I just feel alone in the world because, you know, there's no one I can really talk to about this, and no one that really is on the same level with me about this. But, um, <laughs> I don't even know, uh, I don't really feel like I'm done talking, even though I'm sure that if anybody watches this, they wish I was done talking, but I don't really care. I'm pretty much just making these videos for myself, um, because it helps to, to talk, just to talk, period. I mean, it doesn't have to be about problems or anything, I just like talking. Um, if you hear my 
brother and my grand my grandmother in the background. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um yeah. I suck at making videos like this, but I don't even give a shit. Um, if you happen to watch this, Rochelle, I love you. Um, and I'm trying. <laughs> but, yeah, who the hell? Oh, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Oh, um, just a little update to anyone who watched last night's video, if anybody did, I'm still not concerned, um, but, I said we were going to make another Adventure Time with Justin and Cody, but Justin didn't get off of work, or didn't get home until like 2 in the morning, and I have to go to work, I have to be up and ready to go to work at 5. So, yeah. Oh, but, um, as a continuation to what I was saying, Justin said he's coming over tonight after he gets off the board, and I think he's going to work right now, so he'll probably... It is a Friday, so he might get up to work at like 8. <laughs> and right now it's 3.30. So, um... But normally I think he works until like 11. Whatever he goes in right now. Um... I'm gonna cut my hair so bad. Um... I really don't know. I guess. But I guess I'm glad I talked about. I'm glad I talked about this. I'm sorry that it couldn't be a little bit more in depth and precise and valuable, uh, or fueled with any advice for anyone else who's ever went through something like that. Have. And um. I don't know. I'm sorry if it seemed a little lighthearted or anything. I'm just a lighthearted kind of person. Uh, just for the record, I eat all the fucking time. Uh, so deal with that. I really had no intention of making serious videos, but. Sometimes it happens. Um, I'm gonna try to make a little bit more entertaining videos from now on, maybe. Um, I don't know. Otherwise, it's gonna turn into like some kind of emo video diary bullshit. And that doesn't sound very good to me. I mean a dinosaur from space, by the way. I don't really want to end the video because I have nothing better to do. Um but I guess I will. And I guess I'll play Skyrim until Justin gets home. Um. Yeah.
So stay awesome, everybody. Um, stay positive. And if you're a negative person, not that I'm telling you how to live your life or anything, and I, I come from a pretty negative background, but just think about what being negative does for you and why you are negative and how much better things would be if you were positive. It, it might sound like bullshit because I know when I was a really negative person and people told me all the great things about being positive and stuff, I was like, oh, fuck that. But it, it helps a lot and just with a positive mental attitude, everything in my life improved infinitely. So, there is validity to their claims and to my claims, whether you want to believe it or not. My philosophy is just give it a try and see where it goes. And, uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But, give it a shot. And, uh, Everybody out there, I love you. I mean it. Even if I don't know you, I love you. Don't forget it. Bye. -bye.